And it's time for the Lola and Fritz show. And here's Lola. Thanks, Fritz. Now that I'm finally out of the shop, August has us hitting the road big time. Our first stop is going to be in West Springfield, Massachusetts, where there is an inter international FMCA family reunion. Can't wait to go. We took two days to drive from Louisville, New York, up by the St. Lawrence Seaway to get to West Springfield, Massachusetts. We arrived on August 1st. Christine, what did you think of our first rally? Well, the rally was fabulous. It was well organized. We arrived there um, on a Sunday and we got, we got our um, information packet from the uh, will call desk area. So we did discover that we were going to be going over to the area where we wouldn't have any electricity. So we would have lived off of just the solar power and our own generator. However, we decided, or I decided, thought it was a great idea to have power. Um, so we didn't have to run the generator. And I'm really glad that we well, I think it was went that route. I think it was both of us because um, it was potentially going to be pretty warm. Yes. And we wanted to be able to do things outside of the RV and leave the dogs here, there potentially. Exactly. And we can't run the, the air conditioner just on the, uh, on the solar. And we didn't want to have the generator running all the time. So we figured it would be easier for our first time that we were at a rally to have full you know have more hookups have at least have at least power hookups on yeah that. so i think you know and it turned out it was a i think it was a good decision to do that uh we learned a lot about uh taking care of the dogs um we were concerned about leaving the dogs this was actually the first time that we have been in the R in the rv and uh full-time basically um and we weren't sure how the dogs were going to actually react because we had never really left them in the rv very long so we kind of did a little bit i think we did it a half an hour the first time we um, gave them their kongs that we normally gave them for a second breakfast when we were um working and um so they were happy with that as a matter of fact they kind of shoot us out of the rv so they yeah. could get to it <laughs> which yeah they're, 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 they're used to re uh, that routine of getting a treat yeah. before we would go to work and stuff like that back in the days when we had to work so uh we tried that and you know they were they were fine they just like okay this was they'd been in the rv long enough to know that this was their their home i think yeah and exactly. uh, I, we set up a gopro and recorded them a little bit to make sure that they didn't you know that they were okay and they were a little bit nervous the first time you know but then they you know they calmed down then like you said they were more excited about us leaving than than that yeah the thing the second thing about the dogs that we were concerned about was um uh, you know making sure that the air conditioner was going and that they were in a good environment uh so that you know we only we started off an hour to two hours at a time and i think the longest we stayed away was like two and a half maybe three hours for yeah. when we were here so it get, gradually got a little bit longer before taking them out and uh, fortunately there was a good place to walk the dogs there at the eastern states convention center yeah, the, the lucky part was that we did get we did get hookup for electric and we ended up being the last RV in the row. So not only when we walked out the door did we have an absolutely fabulous view of everybody else, but also of of a field basically. And um, there was also um, kind of like a dam dam area where you could actually walk along and um yeah like a berm a, or um a um um yeah exactly <laughs> one of those things that actually keeps the water back um there's actually a river on the other side that uh, i looks, think it's the connecticut river or what or a tributary to the connecticut river yeah it looks like though it it, it could have risen quite a bit so it's yeah. a good thing they had I was, that there talking about what you were first talking about as far as the organization um I was amazed at how well organized they were. There were some complaints that we heard on a few things, but when you consider the, I don't know, 
1500 or 2000 I don't know the exact number of uh, RVs that they had for this one this here rally but you're talking about hundreds and hundreds you know over a thousand yeah. RVs and everybody you know had their spot and they had everything set up in rows and streets and uh, it was it was um, they would wait until they had uh, two or three uh, RVs to escort each each RV was escorted to its slot and sure there may have been some mistakes that were made and stuff but the organization was uh, actually I thought it was pretty amazing how well they had and they've obviously done this before yeah well and you need to realize these are all volunteers these are people that came there extra early made sure that they attended all the meetings ahead of time to understand you know this is a section where the, the folks that are not going to be on electric are going to go and here's the ones that are going to have electric others are going to have you know um, the full hookup with water and and sewer and everything like that so um, it was it was well organized yeah. I think the only drawback that I think uh, and and again it's it's run by volunteers which you know they have no control over um, people driving however the one thing I noticed was that people driving along the road within the area where everybody had their RVs people went 30 40 miles an hour which was just to me was unacceptable you've yeah. got kids walking around there you've got people with dogs running around there you have elderly people that don't move out of the way very fast either so I think it was very inconsiderate of, yeah. of people um, you know to drive that fast but uh, all in all Aside from that note, um, it was a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of people that um, we had seen on, you know, as as a blogger or like our village. You know, Curtis was there. I got to meet him. I went out. I actually went out of my way to go see him. I just wanted to say hi to him, and um, it was it was just a lot of fun. It, it was just you know everybody was excited about being there, and. Um, this was our, you know, first rally. Then one thing that we really wanted to get out of it was, besides, you know, meeting the people, was what, see what we could learn. And the seminars were fantastic. I mean, we yeah. were busy all the time. Um, and fortunately, with the with the dogs able to stay in the RV without us uh, dog sitting them, um, we were able to. To divide and conquer sometimes and each attend a different seminar mm -hmm. or attend a seminar together which was really nice to be able to, to do things together yep. uh, you went to a, one a seminar by yourself there so I went to the full timing seminar because I even though you know we had been on the road since May um, it was literally you know hurry up and get down to Florida to um, change our domicile to Florida and then hurry up and go up north to our summer house that we have in northern New York. Uh, we had some things to do up there and um, then unfortunately we had a little bit of an accident and uh, our RV Lola got um, kind of sideswiped by a telephone pole and um, it ended up being a little bit longer of a repair time so the full timing part really didn't start until almost to the end of July yeah July was supposed to be start off in Maine and then we were supposed to have like three weeks in Bar Harbor where we can kind of relax and unwind from you know getting working in the cabin and getting the fence done and stuff like that yeah. and that kind of disappeared because we didn't get the uh, RV until the end of the month so um, when we left uh, northern New York and taking care of the house and stuff uh, it was straight to FMCA so our first uh, real outing was to a rally where they had 101 things going on at the same time <laughs> and then I volunteered to help out uh, on some of the seminars as far as uh, making sure that the there was handouts that were there and stuff like that and so but it actually worked out really good the first uh, seminar that I went to was uh, on foggy glass and we actually have our our glass on the um, on our door is foggy when of course that's your when you look out on the right when the driver looks out to the right uh, that window is is foggy sometimes it's better and sometimes it's not and so it's something that definitely needs to get to, to get repaired so that was a seminar that was very interesting and it was uh, good to to see that perspective the other seminars that I attended to I attended a couple of um, 
uh, history seminars by a guy named Al Hasselbart, and he was actually part of the, um, I think helped found the RV History Center in Indiana or someplace like that. Anyways, um, he did one on the history of RVs, and then he did another one with uh, some of the um, RVs, RVing in China, which was, was fascinating. Uh, probably the most, the couple things that were the most important to me, I took a six hour uh, spread out over two days RV safety class and that was absolutely excellent. There were uh, a lot of things that I'd already read but there was a lot of new things that I learned as well. And then um, one of the key things was I attended the Cummins Generator, um, Ona and Generator seminar. Uh, some of those seminars are product specific and others are more general. And this one here actually looked, taught about uh, putting your generator on autogen. And that allows if, you, if your power fails, then it will automatically turn on the generator and uh, click on your air conditioner. So it's linked in with the air conditioner. And so it knows that if the, if the power fails and you need air conditioning, it will fire up the, the generator, which is ironic because after I learned about that, I said, well, we should be doing that. Uh, <laughs> the last full day that we were at the, uh, the rally, the power failed and we were gone and I hadn't set up Autogen. Fortunately, we got back to the RV and it was warm, but it wasn't uh, too much. But now that we know about it, we've got it set up, we tested it, and so we know that when we're gone and the, and the dogs are, are in the RV, uh, that it will... It will kick on. Yeah, the generator will, the air conditioner will be on, and if the power fails, uh, the generator will, will, uh, will kick on and turn on the, get the, uh, the air conditioner running again. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was really good. Um, and then there was, uh, I think we attended a, um, a Freightliner fireside yes. chat as well. That and was very that interesting. Was, yeah, that was that was good too. And they, uh, it was all the displays. The manufacturers were there. There was a lot of dealers that were there, RV dealers and things like that. So there was just a lot of stuff to go through as far as the booths are concerned and the seminars and uh, and everything. So we really enjoyed our time at the um, FMCA uh, convention. Yep. Yeah, it was very fun. It was it was it was nice. It was a nice way to kick off our full timing. Yeah, so. I lear learned a lot, and we were ready for a break after that. Yeah, which is what we did. <laughs> uh, we only traveled what about uh, forty-five miles or so. Something like that. Yeah. To uh, Sturbridge. We went to Massachusetts. Thousand Trails, um, which is uh, the Sturbridge Encore um, place. 